Apocalypse. Hello guys, today we're going to be installing LSPDFR into Grand Theft Auto 5. It's a real simple way to do it. All you got to do is head over to Google or whatever browser you use, type in lspdfr.com and hit that should bring you to this page right here when you get here you see it's downloads you hit the other downloads button over on the left hand side there you just drop down and hit lspdfr right there it's going to bring you to this one tap that Hit download this file, agree and download, manual install download, and type in whatever security code they give you, mine is IQU4R, you type that in right here, and it's going to download LSPDFR031 manual install in your downloads folder, which I have it out on my screen here, you're going to pop that open. close on that there's that and you go into your Grand Theft Auto folder which is gonna be in let me show you um, you head over to your files go to Windows head over to program files 86 Steam Steam apps common Grand Theft Auto V and this full thing when if you have the full game downloaded it's gonna be in here right now I'm installing it again I made a mistake on it so I have the other Grand Theft Auto folder in here though so this will work right now so you're gonna have everything or you're just gonna pull it open like this so you're gonna take LSPDFR and just drop everything into the directory here I already have it installed so it's going to just replace the files there. So when it gets done here you're going to see all of this, it's moving over here. Okay, and I think I made a mistake there but um, got to do is just drag and drop. Don't know why it's being so weird today. Okay, see. Okay, that is weird. I guess I already hit. I don't guess it won't let me install it anymore. <laughs> but anyways, it should pop up. You see LSPDFR. Oh, I know what I did. You you have to take away licenses here. You don't install that. You're gonna in fact delete that from the folder. So don't install licenses just drop the rest of that in here and I believe that it should work a little better maybe not okay but after it does all this I guess replace the files of course not entirely sure why it's doing that it never did that to me before well it did that to me before but like a long time ago um, you're gonna see LSPDFR plugins, you know, all of this good stuff all over on this side, all the files. Down here is what you're gonna need to worry about right now. Right now you don't need even need this, you're done with that hit X. You see this Rage plugin hook. You gotta make sure this thing is gonna come out to 2018, not 2017. So I'll show you how to get that as well. I got the Rage plugin, you see the Rage plugin hook. I got the file right here, but anyways, just go to Google Chrome or, like I said, whatever browser you use. Type in Rage Plugin Hook. Hit enter. And this should be the first one to pop up. Tap that. It's going to bring you to this. Hit Downloads. First one, first one of these downloads right here is going to be, right now it's going to be 0621216-14731. That's the one you're wanting, wanting to hit. You hit that, it's going to download it. I shouldn't have downloaded it. I'm going to hit cancel. I already have it installed. So you drop that. Open this up. It's going to bring you to a similar, or a similar 
page like the LSPDFR one. You don't need the SDK, really, it doesn't hurt. Just take all that, drop it in here, like you did the other one, replace the files. And you should see it's going to say 3-20-2018, or if you do this later on, it's going to say 4, 5, 6, you know, the months. Uh, so you're all good to actually start up LSPDFR now. It should actually work if you have the game installed. You're going to double tap this. Takes a while. Read this. Make sure you, everything's good. Just a disclaimer. Hit accept. It's going to bring up the first time initialization. Just going to pop up with this. Plugins. Right now, you really don't need to do anything with this. I always check that. Advanced settings. These you don't have to worry about. Game settings, this is what I do for my computer. I don't know what if you would need to do it for yours or not, but I always tap these three, direct 10 to direct 11, all these. I head down to HDR and I tap those three, check them all, and check all of these at the bottoms. And then you can restart with elevated privileges you don't have to I I do sometimes I don't sometimes you just hit save and launch it's gonna save all of those things you just hit hit OK and it should bring this up that means you have six sometimes successfully done it and it's gonna launch game and my game like I said it is not installed I'm gonna do a video of I'm gonna show you how to do it when it's installed how to start it up and everything and I'm back. Um, now that I got it all downloaded again, I'm just going to go through here, make sure everything's okay. But like I said, it should be able to start up immediately after this. So hit with save and launch, and it's going to bring this up again. Okay. Going to do this whole bit. Sometimes it takes a while as well. My computer is just a little strange whenever it um, opens up. I have to minus the screen using Alt and Enter. And then bring it back up again for some reason just letting it go will not let it work let me try that let's see if that'll work okay and it's going to go down to the corner that's usually a good sign if it goes out you hit this bring it back up to full screen it's going to come up to and on the next screen in the bottom right corner there must have a little thing that says rage plug and hook in the right hand side of the corner, right hand bottom side, or else it's not gonna work just like mine is. If that's not there, it's not gonna work. LSPDFR, so you're gonna have to restart the game. And having the Rage plugin hook box there with all the stuff right there, that's a good sign as well. And mine froze up. That's not a good thing. <laughs> yeah, that's never good. So we're going to try that again. Sometimes it's very picky on what it does. This time, though, we're going to run it as an administrator. Sometimes that helps as well. Hit the little settings. Head up to plugins. Well, actually, I'm not going to worry about those. Just going to hit that. Just making sure I have everything right. Restart with ele elevated privileges if you can say that right. It's gonna restart. It's 
save and launch. Pop back up there. That's good. That's good. I'm gonna minus that down. It's gonna if this when it's blinking orange like that. That's also a good thing as well. Like I said, bottom right corner. If the thing is in there. That's good. That's supposed to be there. Let's just see if it'll freeze up again. Hmm. I think so. I'll be right back. Sometimes. And here we go. Now, one thing you see the rage plug and hook box and everything. That's also good. Hit the map button. You should. Right here, there's no police station anywhere, so. What we're gonna do is hit F4, type in reload all plugins, hit tab, enter, and that's gonna load all the plugins like LSPDFR and all your callouts after you install those as well. So when you hit the map button again, you see all these police stations scattered across. That's what it's supposed to look like. Now, if you're like me, I usually don't go to the police station, I always type in force duty. And it pops up with, I'm now on duty as a police officer. Then I can type in spawn police two or three. Hit enter and that should spawn as well. Like this. And of course, we're going to add a custom cars, of course. Not these older ones. But no, the thing about the, going to the station is you can get your uniforms and stuff without... I, I'll have a EU pet, EUP menu installed with actual clothing and stuff, so I don't have to go there. And there it goes, that's how you install SPDFR.